like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So here's your review of AEW Rampage and AEW Dynamite, week commencing the 23rd of October. Obviously, it's the week prior if you are in England. So it starts with Rocky Romero versus Mystico. I think they both hold like, some historical titles that's been around since 1922 or something like that. But in the, it was a great match. Go and watch it. You haven't seen it, but in the end, Mystico gets the victory. Then we have John Silver versus Kip Sabian versus Brother Zay in a great triple threat match. I'm not sure if the winner gets a shot at Orange Cassidy, I can't remember, but it was a great match, and in the end, John Silver gets the victory. Then we have Santana and Ortiz going back and forth. Obviously, they've got problems, they've got beef, and I'm sure it will combinate in something at some point. Then we have the BCC versus some guys obviously the bcc win then we have the jas i still call them the jas because they have not got a name yet arguing in the back amongst themselves and they talk about squashing the beef so hopefully all the beef has been squashed between the edge of jas then in the main event of rampage it's sky blue versus ruby soho in a great match go and watch it if you haven't seen it but in the end uh, ruby soho got the victory then we go over to dynamite so dynamite starts with mgf in a uh, start he calls um Adam Cole, Adam Cole speaks to him and as he's talking to Adam Cole, Roderick Strong turns up and basically calls out MJF in the beginning but it says him and MJF should sort of come to a truce but um, basically what happens is also um, Jay White also, he also calls out Jay White as well uh, for a match so we will see what happens. He says he's going to take out Jay White. Then we have MJF versus Juice Robinson. The winner gets the uh, Dynamite Diamond Ring. Uh, it's a great match, obviously. Um, Ju and MJF does use the Dynamite Diamond Ring to get the victory. After that, he gets a beat down and basically the acclaimed come out to help him. And basically, Jay White says he wants to face... Um, he wants to face them lot uh, in... No, sorry. The Gun Club call out... Um, uh, MGF to face him for the RS tag team titles but obviously he needs a tag team partner and we we have no tag team partner so we don't know what's going to happen there so we'll see what happens there so then as MGF was walking out Kenya Omega uh, basically confronts MGF and he basically wants a title shot versus MGF on collision so we will see uh, I just want to say one thing. I'm getting distracted right now. That's why it's been off a bit off track. Apologies. I'll get back on track now. Yeah, so then we had the Dark Order versus RVD and Hook in a great match. But in the end, RVD got the victory. Good to see RVD there as well. Good to see him. Then Sting comes out because uh, Tony Khan promised Sting a gift. Um, he comes out, obviously, to fanfare. Sting says, obviously, he's had a uh, lustrous career and he loves being there. And then who comes out? Woo! Rick Flair comes out. Wow. So Rick Flair comes out, basically celebrates um, Sting's career. They've been on the road back and forth together. So it was great to see Rick Flair. But when that happened, Christian Cage comes out. Christian Cage. I think he's one of the best right now in all of wrestling. He is doing some awesome work. He basically calls out Sting, saying he's on his way out, so to speak. And basically says to Sting, and he wants a match against them lot. Um, all of them versus all of his boys. So we'll see. But he said a lot more as well. You go and watch the segment. Christian Cage is one of the best right now. Then we have Chris Jericho. But Chris Jericho basically talks about his career might be on a downward spiral. He's been losing. He got squashed by Powerhouse Hobbs and he's not sure what to do. The question is, does he still have it in him or does he not? So we'll see what he does. Then we have the Elite versus the Hardy Boys and uh, Brother Zay for the ROH Trio Championship in a great match. Go and watch it. I haven't seen it. Um, but in the end, the Elite got the victory. And after that, we have Swerve Strickland in Hangman Adam Page's house. Uh, talking to his baby so yeah so quite alarming for Hamman and Page then we have Edge in the back he's talking to Sting and Darby and Sting basically says to Edge he needs to wake up and pull himself together because Christian doesn't care about him and Christian's space is going to take him out so we will see then we have Shida versus Ruby Soho in a great match for the Women's World AEW World Championship um, Women's World Championship in a great match go and watch if you haven't seen it but in the end Shida got the victory then we have MGF in the back is getting seen to by the physicians and then Simone Joe turns up and basically says to him he will be MGF's bodyguard but he wants an AEW title shot so it's just 
MJF doesn't know what to do. He hasn't answered the question yet, so we'll see. Then in the main event of the evening, it's Orange Cassidy and, and Okada versus the BCC, which consists of Claudio and Brian Danielson in a great match. Go and watch it if you haven't seen it. Obviously, it's the BCC. It's Brian Danielson. Go and watch it. But in the end, the BCC get the victory. So that is your review of AEW Dynamite and Rampage. Sorry for the little hiccup in the middle. There was someone distracting me. You can't see it, but I can see it. But yeah, anyway, like, subscribe, leave a comment.